So, just another quick video about a couple of new features that were added to the latest version of Visual Studio 2021, which is built 7059 at the time of this recording. And that's from under the In Playlist field in the Browser Info tab. And that now has moved to Folder and Add to Playlists. And those are the two new features. So, if you locate that over here under the Info tip, you can see that down here we have In Playlist. And if that's not already there, that's because you need to enable that field and you do that up here on the little dot menu. So if I open that and I go to fields, you can see it way here down here at the bottom. So if it's not already there, you can enable it here. Now when it's enabled, you can click it and then you get the last plate, which says it's 38 days ago for this track. And you can see if I change the track, it's gonna be two months ago, it's gonna be another date. So if that works. And you have search in history and playlists. So if we click here, you can see which playlists this track is in. And as you can see, most of these are actually, actually history playlists. So they're auto generated. And then we have a, uh, a virtual folder down here. So another kind of playlist. That's been here for a while now. Uh, and it works fine and can be used. But the new features of the other ones down here move to and add to playlist. So you can now direct in here at this track to playlist, whatever track you have found. So right now it's Slug Club 87. So I want to add that to playlists. And that's also both uh, uh, a regular playlist from up here and virtual folders from down here. So I have a test virtual folder. And if I look at lists and playlists up here, there you go. Uh, then I have one called test playlist. So if I search for test down here, you can see test playlist and test virtual folder. So let's say I want to add it to test playlist here. Then I just simply double click that one. And now when I go into the test playlist, you can see the track is there. And the same goes for if I want to do add to playlist and find the other one. The test virtual folder, this one, double click it. You can see it's now also down here in the test virtual folder. Another thing to notice, let me just do it one more time. Add to playlist, is that these days until you close down virtual DJ. So if you want to move a lot of stuff to the same playlist, it's pretty fast. You don't have to search for them uh, when, once you've done it once uh, uh, within this time that you've opened virtual DJ. So, uh, that's a pretty nifty little thing. So that's one of the new features. And the other one is the move to, and that's actually something that happens to the, on the hard drive. So uh, let's look at uh, some, um, one of these tracks again. So now we to pick another one maybe, watch kill. And you can see if I right click that and I pick the, uh, the tag editor, you can see this is actually located in C users, something, Dropbox, IRKC. And that's because this is just a favorite folder. So that's actually just a position on the hard drive, right? So uh, if I then move this to another folder, this path should change. So I grab it, I still have it here. And I go into here and I say, oh, I want to move it to. Let's pick one of the other ones that has a, uh, a favorite folder. So I'll pick the one called bucket, this one, double click it. And now you can see now it disappeared. And if I go into bucket, you can see I now have RKC over here. And if I right click it and check its tag editor, you can see that it has not been physically moved on drive. So that's a pretty fast way to move around tracks that has also been added uh, to this little in playlist thing down here. So these are the two new ones, the add to playlist and move to. And that's about all.